Mike Riley is a kind of natural resource mined from the bedrock of music. All the values that make rock important to people. Storytelling, melody, rage, laughter. David Carr, The New York Times. Nothing, about to go on stage in five minutes. This is the glamorous part, Bond, back in this little shit home. Nice. Don't eat that, Jim. You ready? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go on. His body of work is artistically very formidable. There's something really American about it. Come undone now. In a very natural way. You could be living in the wrong place. I was over at Rick Rubin's house, and he said, if this guy was 20 years old, he'd be a superstar. Not that he wants to be like this huge rock star or anything, but it'd be nice to be a little bit more commercially successful. He spent much of his life working as a real kind of blue collar worker, right? He's the blue collar poet. Was he a grave digger? Well, I believe he was. Well, it's the last you tell makes me want to be a lover. There's a childlike perspective that he has, which is refreshing and uh, pitiful. All right, how about a song about cocaine and infidelity? 16 garage bands play. A lot of his songs are stories or poems, so it's not necessarily what he believes or doesn't believe. Maybe sometimes coming from someone else's perspective. When I heard his music, I realized that I had never heard anything like that. I met a greasy little girl at the Liberty Lanes on a break from a 30 minute oil change. He's a writer, you know, and some would say a singer. I guess. <laughs> but he's a storyteller. Riley's imagination tortures reality. Spin magazine. All the bones they break. In all our flesh it rots. In all our blood. Family, trust. In everything that we are. Money. In everything that we're not. Living and dying. Those are kind of reoccurring themes when it comes to my dad's music. He wasn't a normal father. He was like a delinquent older brother. What the fuck? A lot of the times he won't be telling the truth. Anytime he says, I swear to God, you know he's lying. He's a rock star in his own way, even without, like, his records or his recording career, you know? Riley rocks literally, bitterly, and hard. Robert Chris Gale, The Village Voice. <laughs> I think he's the best American songwriter working right now. I've been both on stage with him and, you know, just sitting on a tour bus with him as he's playing his songs for Rage Against the Machine fans who had no idea who he was, who he's just blown their minds. The virtue of Ike's stuff is that it sounds like it should be enormously successful, and it just isn't, and I have no idea why. Academy Award-winning director, James Marsh. Why didn't he break out in the way that we thought he would? It really felt like he was going to. Time has fucked us time and time again. He's never sold himself out. The only reason to be an artist is uh, it's for people who have no choice. I, I don't think I ever had a choice. Well, you know that Jesus Christ, the one they nailed up to the cross. True artists don't continue on a path of some kind of artistic integrity just looking for that one hit, that commercial success. It's a journey that you're on because you need to be on it. When I look in your eyes, I can see nothing there's really mine now. He's an artist that the world deserves to hear. No, don't turn your back on Friday, on Friday night. All the songs we do are either lies or apologies.